Hey guys, it's Ellie, and welcome to another Surviving College Saturday. This Saturday, it is all about organization and supplies. And yes, I may look the same as I did last week, and that is because I am pre-filming these videos because I get my wisdom teeth out tomorrow, which when you're seeing it, it's going to be like a week later. But, so I get my wisdom teeth out on the 15th of August, so next week, it's obviously not going to be tomorrow getting my wisdom teeth out. So, that is why I'm pre-filming this, because I infer, infer that I will not be with it, and that I will probably have cheeks out to here. So, that is why I do not, I wanted to spare you guys from seeing that, because that probably wouldn't have been pretty. So. That is why I'm pre-filming this, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these tips about organization and supplies for college. Um, let's get into it. My first tip is to get a planner and use it. I love planners. I don't know if you're the kind of person who likes to keep up with technology and likes to write out your to-do stuff there, because I know I have friends who... They create their calendar and all their stuff they need to do on the computer, but I like to physically have what I'm supposed to do in my hands. My second tip is to check your email and highlight, okay, is to check your email because usually teachers send out like PowerPoints for their projects, I mean for their classes, or they also send out the syllabus for each semester. And so I recommend taking your syllabus and highlighting all the big tests and big projects so that you can keep that in your mind. And yeah, something that I think would be useful for you guys to get is an accordion folder. And I use an accordion folder. I literally just got it for a dollar at Target. And I keep like my receipts in it. I keep important information like all my uh, bank stuff. I kind of keep um, important schools. Important, school. important papers for school, such as like information regarding like anything really, um, and just other random important things like that. And that's just a way for you to know where all your important stuff is, so that you can just pull that out. All right, I mentioned this in my last video, but M and M jars, the mini M and M jars that come in those tubes for your quarters. That is a good way to organize your quarters because I think they can fit like about ten dollars worth of quarters in that little tube. So use that to keep track of your quarters for your laundry. I would suggest getting some desk organizers for your desk or obviously. And that's just a good way to separate and organize all your school supplies like Highlighters, glue sticks, sharpies, erasers, like all that fun stuff. And it's just a good way so you can easily pick out that stuff and you don't have to go sorting through whatnot. I would also suggest getting one of those magazine holder boxes or, you know, those cereal boxes that people cut and DIY. Getting one of those and putting your notebooks and folders in it. At least I use notebooks and folders all the time. So that was a big help for me because I had a place that all my notebooks and folders would go to after I was done with class. The next video you guys will probably see will be filmed at college. And that's pretty exciting. And yeah, I can't wait to go back. I really, I really can't. I'm really excited. So if you would like to see more college videos like this, then give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. And I will definitely try to do those college videos. But if you have any other requests, please, please leave them down below. And I'll be sure to get to that as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love you guys. Bye.